Here are two ways to check if two strings are anagrams in Python. An anagram rearranges letters of one word to form another, using all characters exactly once. Given a list of examples we use to check our functions, we start with the simplest version. Therefore, we create a function as anagram that takes two strings as input we want to compare called s and t, and then return a bool. We start by comparing the length of s and t, and if they don't match, we can say it's not an anagram and return false and end the check. If true, we can use the sorted function to create sorted lists of the strings s and t and compare them to each other. If they match, we return true, else we get back false. We then use a for loop to loop over s and t in the examples list. Then we create a result variable where we assign the result of the isAnagram function to the two string s and t. We then use this to print it with and format string to the console and say it's an anagram, true or false. When we run this, we see we have some anagrams. This version can handle most of the characters and inputs as long as it's a string with same case for all characters but it might be slow and inefficient on large lists of examples. That's why we might use this way. Therefore, we import the counter class from the collections library, create the same function with the same input and output, and then we just return the result of the comparison of s and t passed to the counter class. Counter is a subclass of dict that counts the occurrences of each element in an iterable and can handle nearly all characters as input even with different cases. The function is fast as well because it only goes through the strings once to count the characters, which takes linear time without needing to do any extra steps. We then use the same loop to check all of examples in the examples list. When we run it, we see that it worked well on all examples. These examples are straightforward lowercase and only letters and one example with a number. If we had uppercase on the first letter, the first method would fail unless we use a lowercase or uppercase function on the strings first. 